Dad, Mom, my biological parents will pick me up. So I'm leaving. I can't come to see you every day. Ms. Smith, under your leadership, Septinox has made tens of billions of dollars and built worldwide connections. Are you really letting us go? They don't respect you at all. They only send a butler here. Are you sure you're going back? Of course. I've never met my biological parents. Why shouldn't I? Stop taking orders in these days. I will figure out the truth about my adoptive parents this time. I don't want to be distracted. Don't worry, Mrs. Smith. The Imperial leader you treated for the last order has recovered and returned. I'll handle the other trivials. You can leave me now. I want to talk to my parents. It's dangerous! Run! Stop there! Oh, it's fine. He passed out. Hey, this girl looks nice. Just right for us two to enjoy. I'm just a villager. Don't kill me. Haha, <laughs> your sound is also sweet. Call me nicely, and I'll be gentle. I can do anything as long as you don't kill me. You can do anything? Pablo, oh. Hey, are you... Even in coma, he is still so alert. Relax, I'm here to help you. Although he's dirty, he still looks handsome. It's your luck to meet me. Someone is coming again. You're okay. Get in the car. Hey, wait a second. Your shoes are dirty. Don't stain my car. Just toss them away. What a rude bumpkin. No wonder your family won't come. the investigation mr jones the villagers told us that she's the lost daughter of the smith family in regium she went home now sir madam i brought her back you how could you come with bare feet our butler said they were dirty and asked me to take them off Get her a pair of shoes. Don't stain my floor. Remember to disinfect the rooms. Grandma, since my sister is back, she can take care of you for me. I can go home now. Silly girl, I've already taken you as my real granddaughter. Here is your home. No one can make you leave. I don't want to go either, but I don't want my sister to feel that I took you and dad from her. Nonsense, it wasn't your fault. Since you're back, I have to tell you something first. We'll announce publicly. That you're a foster daughter. If others know the Smith family got the wrong daughter, it will ruin both you and Lucia's reputation. 
you can only bear with it. They're just afraid others to know. They have a bumpkin daughter and be embarrassed. Um, I see. James, take her to her room. Dad, leave my sister to me. We can cultivate our feelings. Kay, my name is Lucia. I'll be your sister from now on. Let me take you to the room. She didn't greet us before leaving. She's so unruly. Mom, we can teach her slowly. We can teach her slowly, but the good family can't wait for the marriage. Kay, I heard you villagers all live in mud houses. I'm afraid you're not used to this. So I cleaned it up. Do you like it? Um, that's great. I was afraid that you would find it too luxurious and can't sleep. Grandma said, we don't know your clothes size, so you can wear my old clothes. We'll buy you new ones later. You won't mind it, right? Yes. As expected of a bumpkin. She has no standards. Then take a shower and come down for dinner in these. The more ignorant and rude you are, the more my elegance will be shown. Dad and Grandma will love me more. The Smith and the Good family will all be mine. You can't compete with me. How did the theft of the treasure in the Winston family go? They agreed the moment they heard, the best thief took the order. Just get it tonight. Ms. Sue, how's your time at home? It's okay. Those wealthy ladies are very scheming. Don't get bullied. I'll only be the attacker. No one can bully me. She made us wait for her to eat. That's so arrogant. Grandma. I asked her to get dressed before coming down, so she's taking some time. Don't blame her. Lucia, you're so nice. We're all waiting for you, but you came in pajamas. Kay, why do you dress like this? Lucia asked me to. I said you can wear these to bed, not to have dinner. The Good Family is a big family. We've had wedlocks for generations. We can't let her ruin our reputation. I think Lucia is more suitable for marrying Mr. Good. But after all, but after all. Kay is the Smith family's heiress. Dad is right. But what grandma said makes sense. If we let Kay marry Mr. Good and ruin our harmony with them, it will affect your company, Dad. Just let me take charge of this. They want our family's heiress. We'll say she's a foster daughter. And let Lucia marry Mr. Good. Okay, you'll have to bear with us. Um, I'm okay with that. How is it? The effect of my snow lotus is pretty good, right? Thanks. But we need to settle the account. Someone put my treasure on the bounty list. The best thief took the order. You must find her for me. A snow lotus isn't enough for me? Hey, isn't competing. With the best thief, who is world wanted with a bounty of $43 million, enough for you? I don't care. You're Mr. T, the establisher of the famous business kingdom. She's just a piece of cake to you. Listen, I'll find you, Dr. Joe, and cure the poison in you. You just catch that thief for me. Get out. Don't affect my work. You ungrateful man. Damn it, they knew I was coming. Why don't you say goodbye? He seems familiar to me.
I didn't expect the famous thief to be a woman. Then, Mr. Webb, can you be kind to me and let me go? What's that noise? It's her. Who? Who is it? The thief? I must leave now. What about the thing you promised? Wade, send a big gift in my name to thank Ms. Smith. Okay, I see. Oh. What happened? Kay jumped in from the window. She scared me. Hey, sir, madam. I saw Ms. Smith talking with some thugs on her phone when I took her back yesterday. She probably went out to meet them. Lucia will soon marry Mr. Good. Are you trying, Doc, to ruin our family's reputation? I'm not. I just felt a bit bored here. So, I went to the garden? Nonsense. Lucia saw it. How can you deny it? Punish her by the family rules. Yes. Kay, just say you're sorry. I know you lost your name and your fiancé. Still, you can't ruin your reputation like that. I didn't... I just had a rush... and needed some fresh air. Oh, could this be contagious? Hurry back to your room. Sir, Madam Benton, the head of the Jones family came with a gift. Sir, please. Sir, Madam? Here are premium gem, antique jewelry, and two gold bars that Mr. Jones sent to Ms. Smith. Oh, I wonder what Lucia did to be favored by Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones said he met Ms. Smith by accident and fell for her at first sight. He hopes to know her more. You can put up any terms you want. It's a great opportunity to be favored by Mr. Jones. I think we should let Lucia work at the Jones Group. It will be easier for her to marry Mr. Jones. But Lucia is engaged with Mr. Good. The Jones family is the richest family. The Good family is nothing. Besides, we have Kay, right? Yeah, we should let Kay go together. She can be a cover. It's decided. Please, A.K.'s Mr. Jones. So have Lucia work at your company. We also have a foster daughter. I wonder if you can let them accompany each other. Okay, I will. The Jones family is the richest. Mr. Jones has a giant group. He's such a big shot who is worth tens of billions of dollars. Being favored by Mr. Jones, our family will soon soar to the sky. Yeah, only Lucia can be worthy of such a big shot like Mr. Jones. Your sister will soon work at the Jones Group. But you are still wasting your life here. You should go and work there with Lucia. The Jones Group? Is it great? Of course, everyone knows. It is the biggest investment company in Regium. It's the top 50 corporations. If you can enter that company, you'll have a bright future. Dad, Grandma, I will take good care of Kay and the company. Don't worry about us. Oh, Lucia, you're such a good girl. Be nice after you join the company. Don't cause Lucia trouble. I'm always an outsider in this family. Mrs. Smith, you're the best thief. You actually failed this time? It was an accident. Hey, do you know the Jones Group? Yes, the best company in Regium. Mrs. Smith, your foster parents also had a company. Are you going in for information? I can arrange for you to be a CEO. I have my way to get in. So, you're Ms. Smith, who Mr. Jones hired in person. Nice to meet you. I think you will soon. 
be Mrs. Jones? No, Mr. Jones and I are just friends. Yeah, we know the drill. Who is she? She is my adoptive sister. I hope you can take care of her. Lucia, you're so gentle and smart, but why is your foster sister so rude? Yeah, she dresses so cheesy and acts so arrogant. I think a person like her will be kicked out sooner or later. Miss Smith, Mr. Jones wants to meet you. Lucia, what's going on? Why is Mr. Jones meeting your foster sister? I think, just look at her rude manners. I think Mr. Jones must want to punish her. My sister doesn't know any manners. I hope nothing happens to her. Why did you bring Miss Smith here? Is there anything between you two? No comments. I won't leave if you don't tell me. Mr. Jones, you want to see me? Isn't Brian Webb the owner of the treasure I wanted to steal? He's the Jones Group's CEO? We meet again. Why does the man injured that day? Follow me here. Who are you? Ha ha ha, you brat. You asked her to come. But she didn't recognize you. We just met last night. It was him last night? I'm sorry, you got it wrong? You even asked to work here. Just quit pretending. Interesting. You're Kay Smith? Yes. You just returned last night? Yes. Did you save me? I don't understand you. I'm sorry. It's happy to see you again. I'm sorry. I must go now. It's okay. We have plenty of time. That's something new. I didn't expect to see you to be treated like that one day. What do you know? She just got shy because of you? Don't be so confident. Let me tell you, girls nowadays won't buy your tricks. Winston? Mr. Jones? Promote her. I must not neglect my savior. Kay, are you okay? Look at her sad face. She must have been punished. She's probably coming to pack up and leave. Sorry to disappoint you. Mr. Jones encouraged me and asked me to keep it up. How is that possible? You must have seduced Mr. Jones? How dare you seduce Mr. Jones? You're so shameless. You're stealing your sister's man. You're simple not worthy. Just go home right now. Lucia's talking to you. Didn't you hear her? What's the fuss for? Wade, why brings you here? I came by Mr. Jones's order to promote Miss Smith. What? Mr. Jones is promoting her? Kay, please don't get me wrong. I didn't mean to pick on you. Yeah, we'll be at your services. What are you talking about? He's promoting the Smith's heiress. Me? Congratulations, Miss Smith. So it's Lucia who's been promoted. Mr. Jones said you'll be the director of this department. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Lucia. How shameless. You tried to fool us like that. If Wade hadn't come, we would have all been fooled. Yeah. Lucia is now favored by Mr. Jones. Her background is solid. I suggest you be nicer to her now. At least you can still work at the Jones Group if you get kicked out of the Smith family. All right. Kay doesn't know any better. You two don't scare her. Ridiculous. Iris, what's going on? Big news. The commission of the order you failed last night doubled. It's the top on the bounty list. Even that legendary Big Shot has participated in this. Are you talking about Mr. T, who established a business kingdom? That's very interesting. I must complete it first. Are you being too considerate? You made her a director so fast. It's a little too much, right? Aren't you afraid that she might scam your wealth? If she was really like that, she wouldn't have played dumb. But even if she wants my wealth, I'm willing to give it to her. Are you still the Benton who never had an interest in women? Did she drug you? 
Maybe? But she's an interesting person. It would be fun to be with her. You're really blinded by love. Hmm. The best thief is hooked. Let's plan it for tonight. Maybe we can reveal her identity. Let's see how she will deny it. Where is it? We meet again. How lucky. Just let me go and we can have a real fight. Don't be upset. I'm being polite this time. It was too dark that night. I didn't see your face. I can take a good look tonight. Pervert. Hey, you're good at scolding. Huh? Still want to run away? Get off me. You want to play tricks on me? Don't be so full of yourself. Just let go of me, and let's have a fair fight. I don't want fairness. I only want you. Don't be so anxious. Someone picked the safe. We're tricked. Wait for me. Hey, even experienced thieves can't untie the knot. But she just escaped? She can really surprise me every time? I'd like to see how long she can pretend under my noise. Mr. T, the founder of the business, Kingdom, cares so much for her. That will be a good show. Stop disturbing my sleep. Speak up. Hehe. <laughs> Ms. Smith, you took the theft order. The Jones Group wants to hire you with $11 million to design a product. How does that sound? You're the world-famous designer, the Nightmaster. Do you want to accept it? If you call me for such a trivial again, I'll kick your ass. Annoying. Okay, do you know what time it is now? Hmm. You bumpkin has no rules. You're quite capable, aren't you? You turned two of our colleagues in the Jones group, your slaves, so quickly? What did you say? Mind your language. Kay, I gave you the job. Don't you embarrass me. Fire me if you can. I'm just reminding you that although we're sisters, but it's our family affair. I'm a director of the Jones group. It's official business. I'll deduct your salary this month. Lucia, you're too soft-hearted. I think she must have been hanging around with some indecent men. That's why she's late. She should be fired. Do you crave for men? Why do you always mention men to everyone? You... Ms. Lou Smith, we've been trying to contact the Nightmaster. But we can't reach her. Did they make all these harassing calls? Then stop calling her. The Jones Group has no need to flatter a designer. You're new and don't know about it. This designer is world famous. Many international companies are competing for talent now. All the products she designed became best-selling in the world. Our project client only worked with us this time because they heard we hired her. Isn't it just making a call? I'll do it myself. Why are you calling me? You're the Nightmaster? I lied to you on purpose. It was just a harassing call. It's business. Stop joking around. Lucia, I think you should. Take her to check her brain. She's acting like a maniac. What if I'm the one you want? You? A bumpkin from the countryside? Have you even been to school? If you're the top designer, I can be your tutor. 
We'll discuss it with our client. Just keep trying to contact her. Don't worry, sir. With Lucia here, we can definitely reach out to her. Yeah, Lucia will soon be our CEO's wife. She must respect Lucia. Okay, we're all working for the project. But you're just slacking off and watching on the side. That's ridiculous. She's the top designer. Who do you think you are to have her respect? We are both in the upper class. You know nothing about it. You're just a foster bumpkin. What can you know? If dad and grandma knew... You were so useless, they wouldn't let you embarrass us here. I'd like to see who's embarrassing. Hello, Iris. I'll take the designer job. Inform the Jones group. I'll sign the contract in person. Like I said, why would you go against money? Hey, I'm so happy. The Nightmaster just inform us that she'll come in person. Everyone, get prepared. We'll invite her to the stage and show how much we respect her. Lucia, you're our lucky star. You're the lucky star of our group. Did you hear that? The Nightmaster is coming. Go and help arrange for the scene. You're just a fake heiress. Don't be in too deep just because others are flattering. So what if you're the real one? You're unwelcome. You're just a foster daughter. Let me warn you, the designer will be here soon. You'd better behave yourself. I want to see how you will react when you find out that I am the Nightmaster. Everyone, Mr. Jones wants to welcome the Nightmaster in person. So, pull yourselves together for this cooperation. Do you have confidence? Yes. Good. The Nightmaster is here. ceremony is very rough. I can still accept it for the sake of your incapability. Okay. It's the Nightmaster. We're welcoming here. Your behavior will damage our company's image. I know. Why do you think I'm here? Are you daydreaming? Do you really think you're the Nightmaster? You're just a bumpkin who knows nothing. How dare you make such a claim? Get off the stage. Stop messing around here. You should double check. Who's messing around here? It's the first project I take charge of. If you mess it up, I won't let you get away. She's the person in charge. If I sign the contract so easily, it will become her credit. Who do you think you are? Your words mean nothing? Just get down. If you upset the designer, you can't afford the price? Your welcome ceremony is so rough. It's what is really upsetting. You! You know nothing! We put in a lot of effort. Why are you so rude? <laughs> the Nightmaster isn't coming. What if she canceled this cooperation? It was all Kay's fault. I think it was her who brought bad luck to us. We should just kick her out. What are we waiting for? Let's go and pull her down. Careful. Don't hurt her. She's from the countryside. She's tough? Yeah. We need to teach her a lesson so she won't mess with us anymore. Get lost! Are you okay? I'm fine. Please let go. I saved you. Shouldn't you thank me? Thanks. How dare you? Are you bullying her? Mr. Jones, you got it wrong. She tripped herself. Yeah, Mr. Jones. She impersonated the Nightmaster just now. She fell off the stage herself. Hearing the real one wasn't coming? I'm not blind. Why is Mr. Jones helping her? Are you all right? Tell the HR department, cancel everyone's bonus here, and report their bullying to the entire group. Mr. Jones stood up for her. I've never been reported for mischief before. Yeah, Lucia is still here. 
She seduced Mr. Jones like that? He even carried her out. What a bitchy slut. We messed up this cooperation. We should better figure out how to regain our losses. Please arrange a dinner for me and the client we're working with. I can still win the project, even without the Nightmaster. Wait a minute. Um, your chair is very comfortable. What brand is it? I can have it sent to your position if you like it. Can I choose a different color? It's okay. It's just a scratch. Don't move. Thanks. It isn't done yet. What are you doing? Show me your legs. Did they get hurt? No. Why don't you show me? Do you have some unspeakable secrets? The concealer I developed is great. I should put them into production. Why aren't there any marks? Hey. I might sue you for harassing me. Show me the other leg. Leg. Ouch. Be gentle, it hurts. You know it would hurt? You shouldn't have played tough. I haven't. What are you doing? I won't remember it wrong. You saved me that night. But last night? Someone wants to see you. Hey. Ran away again. Whether you're a thief or a detective, I'll get you. Wade, book a restaurant for me and the Smith family. Mr. Jones, what is this for? A proposal. Lucia, a person like Kay just can't, compare to you in terms of knowledge or status. And she's so flirty, Mr. Jones won't fall for such a woman. Yeah, right. Please don't get upset. I trust Mr. Jones. He's so nice to me. I'm just worried that Kay might get Mr. Jones's gentlemanly behavior wrong. That will be embarrassing. A shameless woman like her will definitely do everything she could to exploit Mr. Jones? Lucia, you must teach her a lesson. We can't be bullied in vain today. Kay, do you know you've caused us big trouble? Can you afford the price of ruining the project? And how dare you seduce Mr. Jones publicly? Listen up! A young elite like Mr. Jones won't be interested in you? Instead of acting like clowns here, you should better think about how to win back the designer. The Nightmaster wouldn't cancel the signing if it weren't for you? Thank you for taking me seriously. Then I must warn you. Be careful on your way home. You? We're doing this for your own good. Don't be so rude. Do you know that you are representing the Smith family? Yeah. Then you must try hard to secure your position. It's said that what comes around goes around. Try not to lose your position and embarrass the Smith family. You... Mel Smith? Yes, Wade? Mr. Jones invites you and your family to have dinner together. Okay. I see. Yeah, Mr. Jones does care about you. He wants to invite you to dinner to clear up the misunderstanding. Yeah, I didn't expect you to be already getting engaged. You're so lucky. I really mistook Benton. He has no visions at all. Mr. Jones is a responsible man. He knows I'm not that kind of girl. That's why he wants to marry me. I'm not that eager to marry him. Don't be so shameless and talk so nobly. You might get into trouble. Kay, I know you're jealous that I'm better than you, but I'm just luckier than you. There's nothing I can do about it? Yeah, you're better. After all, I'm not engaged with two men. If the good family knows that you're marrying another man, what will they think of you? What are you talking about? Don't vent your anger on me because the good family dislike you. I didn't say I'd marry Mr. Good. Kay, you think you can marry into the Good family, one of Regium's top four families? You're not worthy. Lucia, I really feel sad for you, for having such an arrogant sister. Well, don't blame it on her. Her background isn't good, but if she tries hard enough, I'm sure she'll be as lovely as me. Stop. It's still working hours. How could you leave? You're having a chat here. There's no work for me to do. I was going to meet the client tonight, but my schedule is full now. You can go for me. No. I'm your superior. I say you go, you go. If it weren't for me meeting the client, you wouldn't have a chance to enter Hilltop Restaurant. It was the most premium restaurant. 
You should feel lucky to have such a chance. Isn't Benton also going to the Hilltop restaurant tonight? I wanted to approach Brian for that theft order. Since they're good friends, I might as well start with Benton. Okay. Okay, why are you here? I'm here for business. As expected of an unruly girl, you're not clever at all. Lucia has an important appointment tonight. You will be an embarrassment. Kay must feel a little neglected. It was my fault for ignoring you. Actually, we should bring her along tonight. What's her use? She has no rules and no manners. She's so unruly. A bumpkin from the countryside. You expect Mr. Jones to like her? Kay, no matter how upset you are, you can't cause us trouble here. Lucia has received decent education. She's elegant and capable. You should stop messing with her. Kay, you can't steal my limelight tonight. If you try too hard and upset Mr. Jones, our family will be affected. Get out of here right now. Lucia, you really don't know what I'm here for. Fine. Since you're so afraid of me affecting your business, I'll leave now. You can go and meet the client. Wait a second. Dad, Grandma, you can go in first. I want to talk to her. Kay, it was my fault. Can you stop messing with me? Why are you so sincere today? I promise you that if you don't show up tonight, I will never pick on you again, whether in the company or in our family. Words mean nothing. I want actions. Humph. It's my new custom-made lipstick. It's worth hundreds of dollars. Take it as your down payment. Down payment? I'll take it as my interest. Enjoy your night. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, you crazy woman, let me out of here. Mr. Jones, it's our honor for you to like our daughter. She's a great girl. I'm very lucky to meet her. Mr. Jones, you're right. My granddaughter is very outstanding. Everyone loves her. Lucia is also lucky that you are marrying her. Mr. Jones, what a coincidence. Actually, I'm waiting for you. Man. Mr. Jones, I'm so flattered. Let me toast to you. Don't drink on an empty stomach. You should eat something first. You should like this one. What is he trying to do? He also wants to be a two-timer? I've never had such a feast before. It's so delicious. Mind your behavior. Mr. Jones, I'm sorry. She just came from the country and hasn't changed her bad eating habits yet. It's a bit indecent. Please forgive her. That's okay. I like her unrestrained look. What's wrong with Mr. Jones? Isn't he proposing to Lucia? Why does he treat Kay so nicely? We can't predict his thoughts. Mom, we can't offend Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, you're really nice. After all, we're getting engaged. But we aren't married yet. How about I call you Benton? That sounds okay. But you know what I want to hear, right? Mr. Jones, you're so kind. Oh, ouch. My stomach hurts. I need to use the restroom. Please enjoy the meal. Excuse me. How dare Kay lock me in the restroom? I must teach her a lesson. I'm sorry, I came late. Mrs. Smith, I've been waiting for you. Where is the Nightmaster? Is this your sincerity in this cooperation? Why is it you? Mr. Ward, you got it wrong. All right. I don't think we should continue the cooperation anymore. Okay, it was all your fault. Why am I caught? 
in a dilemma here? Mr. Ward, I worked with him before. Kay, you still know you're shameful? How dare you do such things? You'll get your karma. For you. You... Hey, there's so much space, you had to fall into my arms? Sorry. Excuse me? We're not done talking. Don't go. Lucia, where did you go? She locked me in the bathroom. Thank God that someone came in. Otherwise, I couldn't have got out. Damn, girl. You're always envious of Lucia. Guys, I'm here. It's not proper to bully her in front of me. Mr. Jones, she came here from countryside. She's not only ignorant, but also unruly. I was just... I think she's doing it well. There's no need to. Learn your shitty rules. Mr. Jones, she bullied me first. What I'm seeing is that she's outpopulated and bullied. Mr. Jones, Kay is used to being unruly. Mom, let's talk about it at home. Mr. Jones is here. We can't lose our manners. Mr. Jones, Nightmaster, it's you. It's said that Jones Group hired the top designer Nightmaster as the design consultant. I thought it was just bragging, but you really came here. How can she be the Nightmaster? Ms. Smith, you were late. Fine. But you doubt my judgment now. Nightmaster worked for us as a design consultant. How can I not recognize her? Kay is the Nightmaster that only accepts commercial projects. The butler took her back here from the countryside. She was all muddy when I saw her. How can she be the Nightmaster? Right. You got the wrong person. I'm not the Nightmaster. I got a similar face via surgery to reconnect with my family. What? Mr. Ward, you believe me now? She's one of my employees. Mr. Ward, you misunderstood me. She should have received you tonight, but she kept you waiting. I'll punish her. I got the wrong person? Kay, you're not the top designer. No. Since you broke your promise, don't blame me for being ruthless. See you. Mr. Ward, please stay. I'm Benton, CEO of Jones Group. Let's talk inside. Mr. Jones invited my in-person. Let's have a talk. Hey, let me tell you. Don't think Mr. Jones defended you. Because of your fault, he had to. Receive Mr. Ward in person. He didn't really defend me. How dare you talk back? You're never a helper but a loser. You knew Lucia would have a date with Mr. Jones. You came to ruin it on purpose. If I knew you're so ungrateful, I shouldn't have taken you here and should have left you dying there. Grandma, I'm only human. I get hurt too. I'm your granddaughter too. Why do you unsee my good side and accuse me of the worst sin? How dare you talk back? Are you gonna rebel against me? I thought you lived in village and you're kind-hearted. I still don't know you well enough. Dad, I'm not like that. Enough. Mom, let's go home. You saw the truth? I'm the only daughter of the Smiths. You are just a disgrace to the Smith family. When I'm married to Mr. Jones, you'll always be a loser to me. Being confident is good. Being overconfident is disastrous. Ever since you came back, you've come at me a lot of times. I have to punish you today. I've never seen Mr. Jones caring about a woman so much. Should we call her by a new title? Isn't it already a known truth? I was wondering. Except for Ms. Smith's young age. She's nothing special. But Mr. Jones likes her so much, as long as she's special enough for Mr. Jones. Is that Ms. Smith? That's the Smith's adoptive daughter? Why did they get in a fight? Don't stand here. Protect Mrs. Smith. Let's go. I've tolerated you for long. You slapped me? I'll kill you. Ms. Smith. Stop, Ms. Smith, stop. Why did you stop me? Beat her up. She has to beg for my forgiveness. Ms. Smith, calm down. I'm not scared at all. Ms. A. Smith, calm down. Separate them. Don't be so mean. Don't bother to argue with her. You're Mr. Jones. I had a good chance. 
but you let her go. Madam, why are you so angry? Don't mention him. You guys are all the same, have really bad taste. Why is it my business? I'm giving you an order as Mr. Jones' wife. Dispose of her. It's not decent to beat a girl. Because you can't help me. Don't interfere with the rest. Take the money and finish my task. Don't let her survive in Regium. Don't worry. I'll do it as you wish. Iris, any news about my adoptive parents? I was going to call you. Our workers said the major force that destroyed their company is Jones Group. Benton was already working in the Jones Group at that time. What? It's related with him? You can move out of the Smith family. They're valuing that fake woman. They don't want to be sincere to you? I don't care how they treat me. My adoptive parents' accident is related with Benton. The title of Smith family's daughter is more important as a disguise. Then I can approach him easily. Benton is related with this event. No wonder he wondered about me. Who can bear seeing a beautiful girl suffer? Don't leave. Talk to me on the bed. Get out. How dare you reject me? I'll punish you. Are you sure? You won't be alive tomorrow. Compared with male, you're weaker. Harass my girl? You want to die? Are you okay? I'm fine. Who the hell are you? How dare you ruin my fun? I'll make you disappear in Regium. Let's see who will disappear. Mr. Jones, what's up? What? Mr. Jones, my boss. Send him abroad. Make him the lowest miner. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Winston, where did you go? Don't ask. A guy harassed Miss Smith and got caught by Mr. Jones. Got sent away. She asked me to punish someone, but in the end, she got punished. What are you talking about? Miss Smith is bad-tempered. Be careful of her. You're right. She and Mr. Jones are such a match. Bad-tempered. Fragile. What's the date today? 15th. Oh, no, Mr. Jones. Did you get hurt? Should I send you to hospital? It's okay. I'm fine. You suffered. Are you mad? I got hurt because of you, but I still have to thank you. How are you? Are you alright? Run. What? What are you doing? It hurts. Run. You want me to go after biting me? No way. Let me see. Don't touch me. It'll be too late if you don't run. Really? No wonder they rush for marriage. They can't help doing it anymore. Stop talking. Run. If we weren't in the car, I could have got you. Weird pulse. Even though you're poisoned, the pulse is so strong. You're awake? What happened to me? Nothing. Nothing much. You and me. What, what did I do to you? You can do nothing to me like that. Tell me, how did you get poisoned? How did you know? I happened to learn medicine from a barefoot doctor in the village. I checked your pulse. I diagnosed your weird disease. I got bitten by you. If you don't tell me the truth, I don't know what to say. Bye.
sorry. Can you tell me the truth? In that year I got framed up because of business issues, so my poison never got cured. I heard that there is a magical doctor in the south. She can revive the death but she remains cloistered. My man can't even find her. Magical doctor in the south? You mean Dr. Joe? You know her? Moreover, she's in front of you. I don't know this powerful figure. You forgot that? I'm from the South. Dr. Joe is a renowned doctor. We all know her. I forgot that. I firstly saw you in the South. Thank you for saving me. It was just a coincidence? Why don't you admit you saved me? Why? It'll ruin your reputation? You don't seem to care about reputation? I wanted to avoid trouble at first. Now I have to stay alert to you. Human beings are always influenced by rumor. I'm not exceptional. I got bitten by you. I gotta make up an excuse. Otherwise, they'll scold me. Sorry. I won't do that again. So, can you find Dr. Joe? Every extra day is a gift for me. Can I find her? It depends. He's related with the accident. Should I test him as Dr. Joe? What are you thinking? Look what I suffer. Shouldn't you feel the sympathy and shed some tears? You're in the mood for joking. You don't need any sympathy. Oh, so? You don't feel sympathy for me. Then you're in love with me. Stop your boastful crap. Who would love you? You're not in love with me. You have a crush on me. Narcissist. When did she get changed? Mr. Jones, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Without the effect of drugs, I survived. Love is so powerful. Lucia, you were so happy about working in Jones Group. What happened today? Kay was negligent that day and irritated the key account, Mr. Ward. You know what? Mr. Ward is backed by Timkey Norton, the CEO of Norton Group. If we get the project, I'll get more than the marriage. Also, the whole region will belong to us. The company that hired me as design consultant. Are they really so powerful? Norton Group is a rare mogul enterprise in Regium. Without Mr. Jones and Jones Group, Norton Group would have been the top one enterprise in Regium. Someone is not a helper, but a loser. We could only suffer the loss. Kay, behave well in the company. Don't affect Lucia's work. Actually, I... Manager? What? Mr. Ward will cooperate with us? He'll come with Mr. Norton? Great. Dad, Grandma, the Smith family is going to revive. Kay, you're still in the mood for the fruits? For the Smith family, I put a lot of laborious thoughts, and I got so overwhelmed. You're awesome. You talked like the savings of the Smith family were earned by you. Kay, I know you're still angry for what happened last night. I don't even take it personally. Don't get mad at me. Dad bears a lot of pressure. The two of us should share the burden. I remember that you called me trash out there. If I help you, you'll feel bothered by me. I'm done. Enjoy your talk. No wonder she's a villager. She has no grace at all. For the project you take, you must be careful of her. Don't let her show up so that she won't ruin it. Don't worry, I understand. This time I will make it a heated topic as a promotion for the meeting. Mom, we gotta manage to make her marry into the good family. If we force her a lot, will she? If she gets to network with Norton Group, will she still take our order? 
To train a dog, you have to do it flexibly, but she's a countrified girl. Don't worry. Mom, you really see it clearly. You're responsible for contacting journalists for the meeting. Tell the team to be agile about the list. Okay. You're responsible for the venue. If you have any questions, you have to ask us. Don't worry. What will Kay do? For the meeting to not go wrong, she won't take part in the project. She's so lucky to have such a good sister. She can slack off at any time. You call this dirty trick a good luck? Your life is so pathetic. What are you talking about? We have a tight schedule. Let's deal with important things. Okay. You want to compete with me? Reflect on yourself. I will let you know that you don't get the chance to even show up. This is what I wish. Iris told me the corporate secret of Jones Group is in Benton's office. This company is so spacious. Even when the meeting is over, I can't even find it. Welcome to Jones Group. Welcome to Jones Group. Nice to meet you, Mr. Norton. Please be seated. Okay. When I see Iris again, I'll punish her for negligence. What information she provided? Got it. Just a Galaxy 7 safe. How can you get me stumped? Hey, why did you take me to get the pen? Are you stupid? Mr. Jones got an abnormal signal from the safe. He asked us to check it. What, we have to block the whole company? Mr. Norton is here. Do you want everyone to know about our secret leakage? Let's go. Why did you come in? I sneaked in through the journalist's crowd. Benton found out about us. He sent his employees here. We have to go. I packed the camera. Let's go. Winston, nobody here. Come in. Take it for investigation. I'll handle the rest. Don't worry. Go. Be careful. What if they're hiding somewhere? Oh no. The safe had been opened. No, I have to tell everyone to get in emergency mode. No. Norton Group can't find any clues. But we just let them go. We didn't catch them? Mr. Jones, we've always admired your company. I respect your business, reputation. But I have reservations about this partnership. Let's call it off. Mr. Norton, your presence suggests you're satisfied with our project. Why the sudden change of heart? Mrs. Smith without a stamp or signature. How can you claim we're satisfied? This collaboration hinged on the Nightmaster. 
Since she's neither here nor acting as your consultant, I must decline. Mr. Norton, our design team is on par with the Nightmaster. Why not be more flexible? If you're as good as her, why isn't your name known worldwide? Clearly, we won't see the Nightmaster today. Let's not waste more time. We're leaving. Mr. Norton, though the Nightmaster isn't here, your visit suggests our company still intrigues you, doesn't it? Hello? Have Kay bring two coffees to the venue. Yes. Got it. If she messes this up, Mr. Jones can't. Blame me anymore. Perfect. I needed a distraction. Stop stalling. If you drive Mr. Norton and Mr. Ward away, you'll be in trouble. I can only bring it this far. I can't risk being recognized inside. You take it in. I'm a department head, not some coffee girl like you. Sorry. Social anxiety. Can't enter? Okay, those are all Mr. Jones's big clients in there. Get moving. This act again? You okay? I'm fine. Go rest over there. The Nightmaster? The Nightmaster? If you've hired her, why the secrecy? I'll declare our company's partnership right now. Hold on, Mr. Norton. You've mistaken her. She's just a coffee server, not the Nightmaster. Miss Smith, you jest. Would the renowned Nightmaster serve coffee at Jones Group? Mr. Norton, you're mistaken. Mr. Ward made the same error, and she denied it, remember? Right, I did meet her before. My apologies for the mix-up. Nightmaster, ever the jokester. I recall her first disguise as a waitress. Quite the entertainer. I doubt I'm wrong. But she claims plastic surgery. No way. Would plastic surgery replicate even her, I'm all? Sharp eye, Mr. Norton. Surprised you recognize me after all these years. Are you truly the Nightmaster? Indeed, I am Nightmaster. The designer you seek. Incredible. You're actually the famous Nightmaster. Okay, how dare you. Nightmaster, since you've gone undercover at Jones Group, fancy a visit to Norton Group? Hold on, Mr. Norton. True gentlemen avoid envy. You get that, right? I do. Beauty can sway even heroes. But let's sign the contract first. Becoming partners is a good start. After you. What? Want to hold hands? This is public. Control yourself. Don't flatter yourself. I'm beat. It's finally over. Too much smiling hurts. Stop right there, Kay. You're quite the schemer. Hiding your identity, begging for collaboration while cozying up to both bosses. You've got it all planned out, huh? You flatter me. But who can match Miss Smith? Delivering coffee just to embarrass me. Think that'll get rid of me? Whatever. Just stay away from Mr. Jones? Right. Don't think being some designer puts you on Lucia's level. And your reputation? Who knows how you really got it? Probably slept your way up? Why don't we chat privately, and I'll tell you the real deal. I'm telling you, there are cameras everywhere. If you're not worried about ruining your reputation as a designer, go ahead. You're small fry. You think I'd stoop to your level? I'd hate to dirty my hands. You brat, did I say you could go?
Why do you always crash into me? It wasn't intentional. Mr. Jones, she's a flirt. Don't fall for it. Are you telling me what to do? I... No. You were so cocky, bullying me earlier. Why so meek now? Seems my last lesson wasn't enough. Are you asking for more? No, Mr. Jones. It's a misunderstanding. Exactly. We were just trying to keep her on the right path. Excuses. I don't think any of you belong at Jones Group anymore. What's Benton's game? Doesn't he like Lucia? This attitude? Please, Mr. Jones. We have families to support. We can't lose our jobs. Yes, Mr. Jones. Please forgive us. Yes, Mr. Jones. Please forgive us. And you? Me? Planning to leave too? I'm sorry. They can't. Leave yet. I need cover. Forget it. I'll let it slide. You're forgiven. Thank you. Thank you. Every time I help you try to bail. Mr. Jones, you flip-flop faster than pages in a book. Impressive how you treat the woman you love. Not enough. What's Benton's deal? Are all CEOs this brutal in love? No, no, you're Mr. Jones. It's plenty. But if this is all, it's laughable. What do you suggest? I can't tell you what to do. You're on the right track, but add more tear-jerking tactics. Really move her heart. The job's not done. Keep at it. True. I haven't done enough. Winston. Doc bonuses for everyone in quality control, except K. And prepare a lavish gift for the Smith family. Should we cut the adoptee's bonus? Won't that cause trouble for Kay at home? Leave hers alone, but punish the others severely. Yes, Mr. Jones, we have updates in monitoring. Care to take a look? I'll be right there. Grandma, I humiliated myself at work today. I can't face going back. Nonsense. You need to keep building rapport with Mr. Jones. But Kay's getting close to him. I don't stand a chance. What? That Kay never learns? Mom, did you hear? Kay is actually Nightmaster, the renowned designer. So what? She's estranged from us. Her success won't benefit the Smith family. You mean? Dad... I was thrilled to learn about her identity, but she said she hid it to avoid any connection with us. Really? She said that? For such a traitor, we either use her or destroy her. Your call. She's well connected. If she marries Mr. Jones, they'll be unstoppable. We must marry her to Mr. Good and Lucia's to Mr. Jones. It's the only way to neutralize her threat to us. Grandma, please don't worry. I grew up with the Smith family. I see the Smith family as my real family. I'll stay loyal to the Smiths, even after marrying Mr. Jones. Good, that's wonderful, haha. -ha. Kay, Dad, and Grandma want to talk. Please be brief, Elders. I have other matters to attend to. Don't think being a hotshot designer lets you show off. Kay, Dad knows you're tired, but this concerns your future. Oh, so you elders actually remember to plan a future for your adopted daughter. I've chosen an auspicious date for your marriage. The goods are top aristocrats. You're just a designer, so this is quite a step up for you. If Lucia and Mr. Jones were absolutely impossible, would you have me marry a good? Too bad I'm the one saying no to the goods. You must marry them because I've already arranged it for you. They're coming to get you tomorrow. On what grounds? On the grounds that you're a Smith. Then from this day forward, I have no more ties to the Smith family. Our relationship ends here. 
Mr. Jones' IT couldn't recover the surveillance footage, but they found a unique code in the intrusion logs. It's from Mr. A, Night Group's hacker. He stole files from the old merger case. Odd that someone's still on this, and even hired Mr. A. Could this be linked to your old pursuers? Following the Gordon Group merger, the chairman and his wife died mysteriously. Might be their associates. Tell it to stay alert and beef up the firewall. Track Mr. A if he shows up again. I see. Did you deliver the gift to the Smith family? I was busy with the surveillance, so I sent Wade. Where's the sincerity in not delivering it yourself? Okay, what are you thinking? We just got you back, and now you want to leave? This case is getting messy. With all the prying eyes at Smith's, leaving might be smart. You think you can threaten us? Where would you go without us? Lucia lucked out marrying into the Jones family. You'd be on the streets. You can't seriously think Benton would marry Lucia, can you? Nonsense. You think he'd marry you instead of me? Maybe. Mr. Jones seems to favor me over you at work. You. Mr. Jones's people are here. Adam Smith and Mr. Smith. These are trendy jewels and a Balenciaga couture dress from Mr. Jones for Ms. Smith. Oh, Mr. Jones keeps spoiling me with such lavish gifts. Please have a seat. No need. Mr. Jones hopes you'll forgive the company incident and not blame him. Mr. Jones is silly. We're getting married soon. Why so formal? Just tell him thanks. I'll be going then. Lucia, Mr. Jones really cares for you. Yes, Dad. Seems he only protected Kay for my sake. I'll be the bigger person and let it go. Wait, Kay. Let her leave. Focus on Lucia now. Kay will come crawling back once she struggles out there. Investigation going. Boss, it's not just Jones Group that is involved in your foster parents' company acquisition. Another company is hidden deep, but we haven't uncovered it yet. Focus on Benton, then. Contact him and say Dr. Joe will treat him, but he must wear a blindfold during sessions. Boss, you're at Smith's. How will you treat him? I've left Smith's place. I see. He just won't leave me alone? Where to? I'll drive you. No need. I've left Smith's and I'm looking for a place. What? What happened? I just sent people there. They kicked you out? Hypocrites? Come home with me. Get in. I said, I'm not going to Smith's. You can't be homeless? Get in the car. This is perfect. I can get close to him openly and secretly, and it'll anger the Smith family. Win, win, win. Sounds good, but I can't afford rent. I don't want your money. What do you want? You... No pain, no gain. I'll manage. Buckle up. You could have said that sooner. Mr. Jones, good news. We've reached Dr. Joe. She'll treat you. Tell our men to stay sharp and follow her treatment plan. Understood. Iris, you're quick. Thanks. Hmm? My luck's been great since meeting you. Really? Let's call that your rent, then. Fine. Haha. -ha. The Gordon family never disappoints me, sending out their adopted daughter on their deathbed. And she's the design master, Knight no less. This gets more interesting. 
Mr. Norton, even back with the Smith family? She's still in our grasp, right? Dig into the Smith family's background. Yes, sir. Receive $3,000. What's this? Who's sending me money? Receive $3,000. Kay, what's going on? We're not that close. Use my title, please. Receive $3,000. Kay, how do you keep getting paid for doing nothing? What's your secret? Yeah, spill it. Mr. Jones, my account shows multiple deposits from Jones Group. Care to explain? I bought some of your works, supporting local talent. So, you're the one who spent a million dollars on my two paintings? You like money, right? I'll keep sending $3,000 at a time until a million dollars? $3,000 at a time? A million dollars? That'll take forever. Are you insane? Kay. What did you do to Benton? He paid a fortune for your scribbles and wants them in the office. Receive $3,000. Making money is a breeze for me. Hey, stop right there. Our department's got two big shots now. Both are tough cookies. Mr. Jones? Where's Kay? Her? Since becoming the design director, she's never on time. I wanted her to meet Dr. Joe. What? I didn't catch that? Why are you wearing that? What about Kay? Don't worry, Mr. Jones. We sisters love and share your gift. So... I did well, huh? Well, it's a blessing to be in your thoughts. Many women would kill for that. Mr. Jones, I have a gift for you too. The gift is me. Miss Smith? What are you doing here? Nice to meet you, Dr. Joe. I'm Benton Jones. Thanks for your time. Nearly got in trouble again today. Watch this. Don't mention it. There's medicinal tea on the table. Drink up. The voice and figure are familiar. Could it be... Mr. Jones, behave, or I'll show you out. Pardon me? Kay was surprising enough, but she can't be. The legendary Dr. Joe? Put on that eye patch. I'll start the treatment. You're in for it now. Let's go. Treatment time. Sorry. Forgot to mention the chair. What are you doing? Just steadying myself. Let's keep going. Dr. Joe, you live up to your legend. So secretive, even your house is empty. We're here. Oh, I forgot to mention the table. Isn't this my tea? No, I just made it for you. Now let's start the treatment. Take off your clothes. 
Such a lovely back. We should do some cupping. Lucia, the Smith family is in trouble. Quick, call Mr. Jones for help. What's happening? We're not sure. The Smith Group's shares suddenly dropped. I've asked around. It seems we've upset someone. Grandma, don't worry. I have a plan. An arranged marriage. Which daughter are you offering? Well, so now it's Kay, the one long engaged to your grandson. Oof. You sang a different tune before. You called Kay plain and just an adoptee, pushing for Lucia instead. What changed? Cozied up to the Jones family and looked down on us. Madam Good, no need for anger. We simply misspoke earlier. We meant to honor the original engagement? Trouble in the Smith family, is it? So, remembering the Good family. Hmph. The Good family is not your playthings. You get Lucia involved in two families and try to palm off a bumpkin on us. Not a chance. Madam Good, you misunderstand. We're following protocol. Kay may be from the countryside, but she's no bumpkin now. Who said you could speak? While the elders talk, asking favors. Show some humility. Where's this girl you want to marry off? She's dressing up. She's coming. I'll rush her. Okay, we're done for today. Lear. When did you get back? Right after work. Mr. Jones, why are you home later than an employee? I'm tired from my phone. Going to bed? I saw someone who looks just like you today. Oh? Mr. Jones, you must really care about me, seeing me everywhere. She used medicine like you and did a treatment on me. She pricked her hand, too. Was it you? Let me see. Look, my hands are for painting, not treatment. You think anyone can be Dr. Joe? I never said Dr. Joe. Saved me. I guessed you. Who else would you trust to treat you? Dad, I'll be right there. Well, Mr. Jones, I need to discuss the engagement ceremony with the Good family. Don't wait up. I have a key. You've moved in here. Who else are you planning to marry? Huh? Why is she out of Mr. Jones's house? They've moved in together. Isn't that rash? It's no big deal. Mr. Jones is smitten. Cohabitation's normal. You never told me Mr. Jones was into that. It's obvious. No need to mention it. Enough. Mr. Jones is coming. Let's head to the good family. Can't believe Mr. Jones is after both sisters. Dad, Grandma, I'm here. Kay, come greet Madam Good. No, no, I can't handle this. Now, that you're all here, I'll be blunt. The engagement's cancelled. What? Cancelled? Madam Good, our families go way back. This isn't right. You broke faith first. You forgot our arrangement and tried marrying into money. But your plans backfired. Hmm. Whatever. 
Those two try, it won't work with me. I've been kicked out of the family. Don't drag me into this. Quiet! You've no right to speak here! Fine, I'm leaving. Madam Good, she's fainted. Mr. Jones, what brings you here to all of a sudden? Oh, I came to see you about something, but now it seems there's more pressing business at your place. Grandma! Grandma! Go get the doctor. I'll go call the doctor. My grandma was perfectly fine. Why did she faint? Mr. Good, it's all her fault. Her rude words upset your grandma. I just arrived and barely exchanged a few words with this madam. You're just a country bumpkin. But with one word, you can kill. Yet you shirk responsibility? If you want to accuse someone, you should at least figure out what illness madam has, right? In my opinion, this madam fainted due to a relapse of an old condition. Relapse of an old condition? My grandma's health has been excellent lately. Mr. Good, don't listen to her. She's trying to evade blame. Mr. Good, I have experience with this. Just marry a wife and all's well. I'll let Kay marry into the Good family right away, not asking for a penny of dowry. Hey, have you ever gotten her agreement on this? Mr. Jones, you... I don't care what you'll do today. If my grandma gets in danger, I won't let you off. Mr. Good, the doctor is here. Well, let him in. Her indexes are declining. Her old illness must be aroused by the accident. I need the defibrillator. Damn it. She got it right. I'll get the device at home. Don't go. She's too old to take the shock. If you use the defibrillator, she'll die. It's a matter of life. You can't be casual. That's right, Kay. You've angered Madam Good to such a state. Do you want to kill her? I've said she passed out due to an old illness. It'll be fixed after I treat her. The machine will kill her. Enough. Don't add to more troubles here. Let the doctor speak. Right. Without an examination, how can you be sure? Don't listen to her, doctor. You may continue. But she's right about the symptoms. Is there anything you don't know? I never know how to pretend to be nice while hurting my family. How bold. If you delay Madam Good's illness, you'll be in great trouble. First of all, I didn't cause her illness. Secondly, your treatment will only worsen it. Doctor, you need to find a way. This, I don't know how to improve her condition. You actually bought the girl's nonsense? She's a village girl with little knowledge. She knows nothing about medicine. That sounds right. After all, I'm a doctor in an international medical group. Except for Dr. Joe, who is always mysterious. I've never seen any doctor who can conclude without a medical exam. You don't know it due to ignorance. Now, only I can cure her of the illness. Guys, don't believe her brag. We'd better listen to the doctor. Grandma! What did you feed to her? It's just the medicine for her illness. Step away. We're doomed. The Smith family will be finished in her hands. This time, Madam Good will be killed. Kay, don't mess around. Didn't you see Madam Good turning better? The medical skills. You... You're Dr. Joe? That's me. I didn't see wrong. You're indeed the one who saved me in the car. The girl is so young. How can she be Dr. Joe? Dr. Joe, I've long admired you. In these years, I've studied hard and learned various medical skills. Just to see you and make you my teacher, please make me your student. I won't teach a random man. I have a doctor's degree, and I think I'm quite experienced in medical knowledge and skills. He has a doctor's degree and was hired by Mr. Good from an international medical group with a good salary. Yet, he asked to be her student. Why is she the village girl so capable? Kay, you made a fame again. All right. I only value a student's strength rather than his titles. If you want to be my student, you should focus on work and accomplish something first. I'll do my best. Okay. Madam Good is safe now. Let her get more rest.
Let her take the medicine I prescribed. Thanks. I won't believe she's Dr. Joe. She must have misled you. I just saw the man with a doctorate being respectful to her. Dad? She just felt guilty and wanted to make up. Besides, she didn't do anything for the Smith family. Exactly. Our matter has not been fixed yet. I've heard about the matter in the Smith family, but you offended the wrong man. I want to help you, but I can't. Mr. Good, considering you and I used to be close, please help us. There is an engagement between us. This time, Kay saved my grandma. I do feel grateful. I said I wouldn't help, not because I don't want to, but because I can't. If you want to solve the matter of being hacked, you can go to the hacker, Mr. A, and make him rebuild your firewall. The hacker, Mr. A? Right. She's the specific hacker of Septinox. If you can hire her, others will. Be intimidated by her fame, and no one will dare to hack into your company. Kay is a top designer and an amazing doctor. She must have powerful connections. Let's ask her for help. Lucia, you may ask Mr. Jones for help. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll do my best. I feel kind of sleepy. I'll go to bed. Tell me about it. Tell you what? How should I address you? Should I call you the Night Master? Or Dr. Joe, the Amazing Doctor? Or... What else does he know? Has he found that I'm Mr. O? Or should I call you my future wife? Cut the crap. Don't tell such a scary story at night. I'll have a nightmare. Alas. Don't you want to be the wife of the chairman in Jones Group? Forget it. I won't bother to talk with you, fool. Considering our relationship, I won't have to wear an eye patch in the treatment, right? Okay, you can find another doctor. You're quite mean. I'm a fool. Haven't I made it clear? Alas. Hi, what is it? Mr. Jones, big news. As we're tracking down the hacker, Mr. A, we found Norton Group is involved in it. And it's likely that the one murdering you is in Norton Group. Do you have proof? Before your accident, Norton Group made a payment, which finally went to an account overseas. After the one murdering you died, the man's family went to the bank for the money. That is the account. Okay. Keep an eye on Norton Group. And keep looking into it. This is the bidding price of the project this month. They gave the base price. Not enough. Not enough. Mr. Jones, if you ask for a lower price, your fame will be ruined in the industry. In your opinion, why would a woman call a man a fool? Does he not perform well, or...? Mr. Jones, I think women value attitude more than ability. Tell me about it. Well, if you have $15 and give her $14, you'll show enough concern. But if you give a woman half of your money and give the other woman half, you'll be in big trouble. All in all, after all, I mean, a man can be poor, but can't be gentle with all women. What's that nonsense? Have I said wrong? Maybe it's because I'm too cute, and she has no sense of safety. Hmm. Well, you two may invite her to come before everyone. Can that show my concern? Okay. Boss, there will be news about the matter with Norton Group, but the order of stealing treasure is being urged. Get it done when you're free. Since they all know I'm Dr. Joe, I can get along more with Benton. Maybe it can benefit the Webb family in the case. Stop. Where are you going during working hours? I'll see Mr. Jones. You can't go. I'm talking to you. Well, when we rush into the office and see Ms. Smith, we'll both bow to her and greet her with big smiles. What do you think? I won't embarrass myself like that. Well, Ms. Smith is Mr. Jones's lifesaver. Can't you show some respect? You're right. 
If it weren't for Ms. Smith, Mr. Jones wouldn't recover. I have a feeling that love matters more than an amazing doctor. Aren't Ms. Smith and Dr. Joe? Let's go. Take me to Mr. Jones. All right. Hey, hey. We have to welcome Mrs. Smith upstairs. Hurry up. All right. Then, hey, Mrs. Smith, why do you come by yourself? Hey, Mrs. Smith, please stop. Mr. Jones just asked for your sister to get him treated. The bitch. You came pretty fast. How does he know I'll come? Get undressed. You're so blunt. I don't think it's good. Mr. Jones, it seems you don't want to get fully healed. I remember you have a friend called Brian. Where is he? It seems he's gone abroad. I see. Kay, don't think you'll win his heart because Mr. Jones needs your help. You're in Mr. Jones's office. Don't make a scene here. Winston, why are you being biased? What? Are you worried? It's a pity that I'll always get whatever I want, no matter what you do. Why should I worry? I just came to tell you Dad asked. You to go home for a meal. He has an announcement to make. You two can't slack off. Take good care of Mr. Jones. How pretentious. The last Winston you'll get Ms. Smith an enemy? Miss Smith is Mr. Jones's love now. No one can hurt her? A rival in love can be horrible. Mr. Jones, Miss Smith cares much about you. I'll make her care more. It's said that Mr. O, who is at top of the bounty list, is excellent at stealing and amazing at finding people. I'd like to see if she can help me find Mr. A. All right, I'll contact Mr. O. Right. Boss, I found that the Smith family is involved too. I wonder what they did in the case that occurred years ago. No matter what you did, I'll make the one behind it pay the price. Kay, you're finally back. Have you heard about the matter in our family? Cut to the chase. Well, we think you must know many talents in all the fields. Can you help contact Mr. A? With her help, we'll be saved. I wonder who gave them the idea. Could it be Benton? But he shouldn't know. I'm the hacker. After all, I haven't married Mr. Jones yet and can't trouble him. Thanks for helping us, Kay. Who told you about Mr. A? And who is it? That makes you ask me for help? Are you interrogating us? It's Mr. Good, of course. If you help us find Mr. A, I'll forgive what you did and allow you to move back. No need, I'll leave now. Wait, Kay. Take this with you. Maybe Mr. A will need it. It's our confidential file. She doesn't want to help us at all. Well, I hope she still cares for us. Dad, Grandma, don't worry. I'll help you. Boss, how is it? Have you found who got past the firewall of the Smith group? I even used the decoding app to get into Norton Group's system, but I found no similar tracks. The one behind it must be smart. I can do nothing other than upgrade the firewall. You have no other way? Boss, the person did it without leaving a clue. I think we should stop digging. Let's get down Norton Group. Then I'll be the same as them. Don't worry, I'll find a way. Boss, look at this. You're on the rewarding and tracking orders of bounty list. What's going on? Boss, the so-called big figure Mr. T released the order. He'll use $70 million to find Mr. O and lure out Mr. A. But the tracking order... He wants me to look for myself? What's he thinking? 
Give me more dollars to find one, who is worth $40 million. How interesting. Boss, but they don't know you're both the thief, Mr. O, and the hacker, Mr. A. You get $100 million. Do you think I lack money? I can take the order. Anyway, he asks to find the person, but didn't mention the result. I'll just give him a contact? That's brilliant, boss. You're amazing to earn that much with just a contact. Mr. Jones, Mr. O took the order, and the task is done so fast. It said Mr. A is found. It seems my money takes effect. But the one hired her for treasure may not be as lucky as me. Where is Mr. A? Let her come in. Mr. Jones, I haven't finished. Mr. O gave me a contact, saying it belonged to Mr. A. Okay. It seems Mr. A asks for the trouble. Make those in the IT department. Track down her location. Got it. Sweetie, you're so caring. To make Mr. Jones find Mr. A and upgrade the firewalls, we won't have to worry. I should have done it. It's a pity that Kay is angry and wouldn't help us. Don't mention that bastard. We're kind to take her back and give her a good life. We even got her into Jones' group. But that's her way of repaying us. Mom, we're happy now. Don't mention the buzzkill. Hey, Lucia, tell me who Mr. Jones hired to help us. Mr. Jones doesn't want me to worry, so I'm not clear about it. But it's good news that it's fixed. Right. However, Lucia, you're the K's superior now. Kick her out if you can. How can she enjoy our benefits without listening to our words? Don't worry, Grandma. I know it. Look what you did. I told you to deal with them. But you get yourselves targeted. If what we did gets exposed, we'll all die. Mr. Norton, it's an accident. I didn't expect Kay's sister, Lucia, being so capable, made Mr. A help the Smith family. Kay wants to handle us with the Smith family's power. She's so stupid. Well, you may teach Lucy a lesson so that she'll know what she should do. Got it? Who is it that is attacking my firewall? Is he insane? Say it. Boss, the order was urged again. I know you've been busy recently, but the order can't wait. Please say it. All right, all right. It's doomed. The internal network has crashed. I have to rebuild a firewall. Mr. Jones, the IT department has found Mr. A's address. However, the address looks familiar. It's... It's in my house. What is it? I brought you some fruit. I'll come in if you're not busy. What are you doing? Playing a game. With your screen off? I've played long. It's powered off. Come out for fruit. Hi, Brian. I let the news out immediately after I went abroad, as you said. I'll wait to attend your wedding. Well, take care of yourself there. Are you talking to Mr. Webb? He's abroad. Why do you care so much? It doesn't matter. I'll know. 
Did I? You're overthinking. I hear the Smith family found Mr. A and their crisis is over. Can you give me the details? Why do you care so much about my family affairs? I care about the family of my love. Isn't that normal? I have to go back for a thing. I'll see you at the Webb family. I've suffered twice here. This time Brian isn't here. Hmm, no one can stop me now. How stupid he is to hide the treasure under the bed. I can't believe... It's empty. Are you looking for this? Who are you? I'm a thief like you. Give it to me. Come to me if you want it. Your mask. What? Do you find me very hot? You look funny. I feel embarrassed by you. Will you take it off? Now that I ran into you, let me teach you a lesson. I'll just vent my fury. Hey, be gentle. Ah. Uh, Don't do the job as you're weak. I... I'll beat you up if I see you. She is so violent. K. You're Mr. O at first. Then you're the designer. And Dr. Joe. And you're even Mr. A. How many surprises have you got? No wonder so many people want it. Hi, Iris. Tell the buyer that I've got it. What is it? I hurt my face when exercising. I need treatment. Just a minute. Well, Mr. Jones, I feel hot after a shower. Which part of you is hurt? The floor is so hard that it makes my face like this. Mr. Jones, you're too old to act like a cute boy? I've fallen so badly, yet you make fun of me. It's late at night and I'm alone. What will you do in my room? What can I do? Do you hide someone here? How can I hide a man in your house? Then why are you nervous? Do you hide someone under the bed? Wait. Are you all right? I don't feel right. Is your bone cracked? Let me see. My bone isn't cracked. But my heart is racing. Dr. Joe. Can I be saved? You, what are you doing? Now it's really cracked. You deserve it. You're harassing me late at night. Get out now. Hey. Get out. Wait. You used to admire me. You deserve it for your bad taste. Why should I admire you? Well, I never ask for your respect. I just like it when you admire me. Wait. You're getting more irritable. He's so annoying. He came to my room late at night and said the strange words. Fine, I know you like Lucia. What is it? Kay, 
Lucia is in danger now. You have to save her. What? I've got it done. The one arrested, Lucia, works in a branch of our company. On the surface, it won't be found. Related to Norton Group? Good. I heard she's hostile against Kate. Tell your men not to get her killed. She will be of use to us. Okay, I'll go and check on her. Kate, though you hide deep, I found you. I'm at an advantage. You'll wait till I send you to hell with your adoptive parents. Ha ha ha. Kay, have you got the files? You have to save Lucia. She isn't like you. She has never suffered. She can't live through this matter. What do you mean? Do you mean I can live through that? Do you hope I'm the one suffered instead of her? I, I... Kay, Lucia is gone for two days. Your grandma is just worried. She is aged. Enough. Don't brainwash with that. I'll save her, but it's not for you. I'll do it for myself. By the way, my adoptive parents were kind. I used to think my real family would be nicer to me. I didn't expect. I expected too much. Boss, what's wrong? Why do you look upset? Nothing. I just let off something. Have you read the files? Well, I've checked those for you. These are here. I've found that the company that harmed Lucia is the one attacking the Smith Group. It's Norton Group again? Its chairman looks nice. I didn't expect him to do this. Boss, I've got other news. It said Norton Group's head, Tim Key, isn't as simple as he appears to be. Boss, you have to be very careful. Don't worry, I've dealt with him once as a designer. I won't let him off if he's related to the Gordon family's matter. You may drive. We'll get Lucia out. Ha 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 ha. Smith, it's been two days. How do you feel living here? Hey. It's you who helped the Smith family? You're quite capable of getting Mr. A to help you? I wonder how good you're in bed. Ha 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 ha. Ha! Scream! I like your voice. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! You got the wrong one. I didn't get Mr. A's help. My sister Kay did it. She's the Night Master and Dr. Joe. I have nothing to do with these. No. So what? I'll just do as ordered. As for if we got the wrong woman, I'll find it out later. Ha 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 ha. Kay. You made me fall to this. Who is it? You don't deserve to know it. Let her go. Otherwise, you'll regret it. How arrogant you are. I'll soon make you kneel and beg for mercy. Hmm. You don't deserve to fight with me. Iris? Boss, go and save her. Just leave this guy to me. Did the Smith family let you save me? The Smith family is nobody. I just walked by and came in to get some benefits. Do you also want to, but you're a woman? Tam, what are you thinking? Give me valuable things you have. I have nothing valuable now, but my parents are rich. Give me your account. My family will give you money. Coward. All right. You've been here for two days. You're gonna tell me everything you see and hear. I heard nothing. I saw nothing. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Stop pretending. 
I'm not with them. It... Boss, he's so weak. I easily beat him down. What should we do now? Same as usual. Wait and see. I'm with Mr. Ward. He won't forgive you. Take him away. Got it. Madam. Please take me away. My dad is the CEO of the Smith Group. He'll give you money. Have you met Mr. Ward? He just mentioned... No, no. Move your hands. Follow me. The warehouse is mysterious. It's not easy to leave here. What? But your follower has left? You'll leave with me, not her. If you don't believe it, you can go alone. I'll do as you say. Well, there is infrared light, which cannot be seen by the naked eye. I can see it with the mask. You, if you follow me, you might be cut into pieces. What? What should I do? Well, crawl forward and lower your body as down as you can. You will be safe. But it's dirty? What? It's dangerous here. If you stay here for a longer time, maybe you'll find a bomb? At that time, maybe... Bomb! Did you ask the man? Boss. Mr. Ward, he said, is the one working for Mr. Zack from Norton Group. Our guess may be correct. Tim Key is the one plotting this. It seems that he's confident with his power. He wants to kill us all. Boss, what should we do now? I work with the Jones Group and Norton Group. This time, we'll start it with Mr. Ward. Yes. I've misunderstood him for a long time. You're getting recovered. Toxins are almost cleared out. After this period, you won't need treatment. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I refuse to admit that. I saved you to avoid troubles. Now, it's because... What did you say? Why should I say that? Maybe he will misunderstand it. Hi. Boss, you will be shocked after hearing it. Benton is also an important person. Get in the car. Let's go to the company. Thank you. I'm just an employee. I can't sit in your fancy car. Did I do anything wrong? Mr. Jones, you're so busy. You don't need to worry about me. Mr. Jones, they've arrived. They are waiting for you. I'll leave now. We'll have dinner tonight. You almost know all my secrets? Why don't you tell me you're Mr. T? Am I not even... Your friend? Mr. Jones, did you argue with Mrs. Smith again? What do you mean again? I want to please her. I don't dare to upset her. Mr. Jones, as you know, Timkey wants to kill you. 
Should we be on guard? And Mr. Smith? We don't need to tell her now. If Timkey knows it, she'll be the target. They want to kill me and take Jones Group. They'll only fail and suffer. Should we keep contacting Mr. A? No. If Norton Group finds out her, it's meaningless that I try to hide it. Okay. Dad and Grandma asked you to help save me. And you got me? A crazy woman? Call her that when she saved you? You were quite happy when you begged her and crawled out. You. How did you know it? I have the video. If you irritate me, I will tell co-workers how awkward you were. Forget it. I'm generous. I won't be mad at you. Norton Group wants the design. It should be reported in two days. I'm forced to. Be in the group with you? I do hope you. Won't be our burden. Finish the design in time. Don't bother. Mr. Jones, I just got a text from, well, from Mr. A. Mr. A can help us to build a firewall, but Mr. A wants us to pay $1 million first. What? So greedy, our technical department can do this job. Why do you need Mr. A? Give Mr. A as she wants it. Money isn't important. Yes, I'll arrange it now. Go to leave Ms. Smith here. Remember, be nice. Yes. Hey, I have a question. Mr. Jones is weird. Is he stimulated by troubles in Norton Group? He spends money now. Power of love. Why does it relate to love? You're single and innocent. You. Well, I just need to do what Mr. Jones orders. Does Ms. Smith know many women want to get Mr. Jones's love? Okay, is your work finished? How dare you ignore the rules of the company? Flash drive on the table. I hope you can get familiar with my design. Don't be my burden. You should stay here. What if we have to make adjustments? What can we do without you? Who do you think you are? You work here with help. How dare you doubt my work? You. It's been a while since Mr. Jones came for Lucia. Will someone else be Mrs. Jones? I think so. Otherwise, Kay won't be so aggressive. Ms. and Smith, Mr. Jones asked me to get you to his office. He's so sweet. Mr. Jones has seen me quite frequently. Now he wants to see me at working time. After all, Mr. Jones likes you. Ms. Smith, this way. So, Lucia still gets Mr. Jones love. We should be more careful. Yes. I should have been used to Lucia's arrogant tone. Why can't I stand it today? Boss, watch out. Are you happier? What do you want for dinner? Wherever you go, I am happy with you. Why are you here? Mr. Jones, time is precious. Stop playing hard to get. We should do something fun. Wade, come in. Mr. Jones, why did you bring her here? Get her out of here. Did I do anything wrong? Let's go. Mr. Jones. How dare Kate push me to someone else?
Got him the girl he wants. Why does Mr. Jones act like this? Well, how can I make a woman happy if she's mad at me? Mr. Jones, why is she mad at you? I have no idea. Maybe I said something stupid. Or she might have misunderstandings. Gifts? Apology? If none of that works, give her a hot kiss. Prepare a gift which is the most popular among women. Give it to Mrs. Smith. What? Me? Hurry up. Okay. What's wrong? Wade? Finally, you are here. Mr. Jones is killing me. He wants to meet Miss Smith. I brought her here. He drove her away. Later, he felt it was improper. He wants me to buy a gift and apologize now. What do you think? Miss Smith will curse me. She will. Love is complicated. Try your best. God. Don't you go to the hospital? I am a doctor. Why should I go there? Besides, I was just scared by the car. I'm fine. Why would the car suddenly have a malfunction? You were almost hit. Timkey must have plotted this. How can he do that? He's so vicious. He is never a just and kind man. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done that to take my parents' shares. He wants to play. The game is on. Boss, I heard Timkey will reach out to overseas businesses. He will attend a meeting held by an international financial organization. If he makes it, we'll be in trouble. Well, I should meet him as Mr. O. Mr. Jones. We got the news that Timkey will attend a meeting held by the International Elite Organization, and he has gathered famous people from Regium to get their support. What do you think? Well, I'll go there too. We can't let it happen. Yes? Keep an eye on guests. Yes? Boss, aren't they from the Smith family? Why are they here? They can't know. I am here, too. Lucia can't see me. Lucia, you're the best among all the kids. Didn't let the family down. And now you're invited by Mr. Norton. You bring us to the party. Well, thank you, Grandma. Look, it's Mr. Jones. Look. K. K. They can't know my identity. Why is she here? Go. Why is K here? They can't know my identity. Welcome to the meeting held by the International Elite Organization. We have three competitive candidates, Timkey Norton from Norton Group. Mr. O is listed on the bounty list. Mr. T, the business giant. I didn't expect I could meet Mr. Norton and another famous people. What a surprise. Yes, they're also here. It's hard to tell. Who will be the next chief? Don't worry. Mr. Norton will vote for you. You will be the chief and develop your business. Okay. Welcome our candidates. Maybe you should go for me. It's complicated. I can't show up. But I'll fail at fingerprint verification. Forget it. Just a chief. I should make a choice. Idols? What? Kaya is Mr. O? Damn, how many secrets does she have? I'm surprised that Kay grew up in the countryside, yet she's talented. The Smith family is blessed to have her. Yes, though we can't defeat Mr. Norton, we finally have a great and promising kid. We can't let her live outside. K, 
Okay. Timkey does tricks on the votes. I got prepared to defeat him. If you're not happy, I can... I don't care about these. Why didn't you tell me you're Mr. T? You know who I am? Are you happy to see I am bothered? All right. Don't touch me. Do you remember I was almost killed when we first met? I didn't want to tell you this because I worry about you. Timkey plotted all of these. He's good at pretending. I worry he'll use you. He was the one killing my foster parents. Now he hurt us. Does he want to kill all enemies to develop his business and rank top in Regium? Well, can you stop being cold to me? Don't worry. I will figure it out. He must pay for what he has done to us. You're not mad at me? Yes. I don't want to speak to you. I have to work tomorrow. Kay, why can you be close to him? How dare you compete with me? It seems that we have the same target. We should cooperate to get what we want. My pleasure. What do you want? Mr. Ward from Norton Group said that your design is similar to another's. You might let out the design to earn all the money. Or you stole someone's design. On behalf of the company, I'm telling you that you're fired. You must be legally responsible and pay losses to two companies. Guards, get her out of here. Do you have evidence? Why are you ordering me? I have evidence. These are the transaction records between you and another company. It's written here. You can't deny it. When was Mr. Ward in charge of our company? Norton Group will acquire Jones Group. I'm just doing what I will do later. What are you waiting for? She causes damage to the company and seduced Mr. Jones. Get her out of here. Wade, are you crazy? You hurt the future Mrs. Jones? Mrs. Jones. Kay is Mrs. Jones. Yes, don't you know it? Sorry. Mrs. Smith, I've gotten you wrong. Nonsense, I'm Mrs. Jones. The one I love is Kay. You? You're alive? Do you think you can kill me with your stupid tricks? I've reported the police those nasty things Norton Group has done. Winston, Wade, seize them all. Get them to the police. No, I just did what I was told. Let me go. I am Mrs. Jones. I am Ms. Smith. Let me go. So we have misunderstood each other. No wonder you're cold sometimes. Now it's all clear. We... Wait. Slow down. What is your identity? Well, Mrs. Smith. Will you marry me? I think my answer will be yes. <laughs>